All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you this really simple card trick. Um, and at the end, I'm going to be showing you two different ways to do this. And the second way is going to be a lot simpler. So um, to start it off, this is what the trick would look like. Let's say you would go through and you'd pick a card in this case here. Now, the whole point of this trick is that I have not seen your card and neither have you. So what I'm going to do is let's say I go through the deck here and I try and see uh, which card is missing from the deck. So let's say I'm going to go through here. And I'm going to try and see, because I kind of memorized the order of the deck a little bit before I started the trick. So let's see if I can go through here and see the card that you picked. In this case, you pick, looks like the only card missing is the Ace of Spades. So if I flip it over, you guys can see it's the Ace of Spades. So this is a trick. I hope you guys like it. And uh, if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so I'm going to go into the tutorial teaching you guys the first way. Um, basically, this is what you have to do. It's not too bad of a setup. Um, but it does take some time, I would say. So basically what you have to do is get 26 cards. And I'll lay it out here so you guys can see it. So what you're doing is you're just taking two packets or two or each half of the deck and lining it up with each of the soulmates. So basically, as you can see, I have from left to right, it goes from ace to ten. Basically just a random order, but as you can see, all the cards are just lining up. So this way you'll have two packets of cards that look exactly the same. So over here, it starts with the Ace, 10, 4, and you go down. As you can see, the other half of the deck also has the Ace, 10, 4. So basically, you're just repeating with the soulmates. Okay, so this is what the deck should just look like. It should be, be able to go through and see all the cards. So it's not too long to do. Just make sure you have the cards lined up, and now this is when you're ready to start. It's so the beginning of the trick. You can do like a false cut or something just to make it look like you've mixed up the deck. Um, and at this point, you can start out by having the spectator tap on a card. And all you want to do is just drop it to the table because you don't want them to look at it. So in this case, let's say we drop their card, and now we have two packets of cards. What you do with the cards in your left hand from the bottom of the pile, you move that to the top, and you push their card over. You can have them hold it or something. Um, and the next thing you do is you flip over the deck and you can spread it and you can say all right so basically uh, before I start the trick I kind of memorized the order and what you're doing is you're laying it face down so you can see uh, the last card up here the queen of hearts and the five of spades and the whole reason why you line up the deck in the beginning um, in the same order uh, with the soulmates is because you're looking for now the queen of hearts and the five of spades so you're gonna go through the deck and you're going to be looking for the soulmates of these two cards. So in this case, we're looking for the Queen of Diamonds and the Five of Clubs. So you pick up the deck and you tell them you're going to go through and look for which card is missing. But in reality, you're looking for that Queen of Diamonds. So you go through and you say, okay, I'm going to try to go through and see which card is missing. Whatever you say, you're looking for the Queen of Diamonds. And as you can see, we have now found the Queen of Diamonds. And the card right below it should be the soulmate to their card on the table. So here we have the seven of hearts. As you can see, we have the five of clubs sandwiching their card with the queen of diamonds. So their card here, the seven of hearts, the card on the table you now know is the seven of diamonds. And you continue to go through the pile, put it on the table. You can flip it over and show them their card is the seven of diamonds. So the second way that you guys can do the performance uh, of this trick is basically by using a mark deck. And the whole thing is that I didn't to use this deck in the performance just because I know a lot of you guys aren't going to go through the time to make one and I know a lot of you don't like gimmicks so if you do want to see me make a video on how to make a mark deck so you guys can learn how to read the faces of the cards before you flip the cards over you can use this in so many different tricks it helps out so much um, so if you guys actually want to learn how to do this make sure to like the video and comment down below if you actually want to see this because I don't want to make a super long tutorial teaching you guys how to make something or do something that you guys don't necessarily uh, want to learn. So this kind of concludes the video. I um, hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching.